Hi everybody, it's Miss Jennikin again with another video. For today's read aloud, we will be reading the book Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. Before we get started on reading this book, I wanted to ask a few questions. My first question is, does anybody know what an inch is? Well, an inch is a way to measure how long something is. I'm gonna say that one more time. An inch is a way to measure how long something is. There's lots of different ways to measure how long something is. You can measure something by using um, miles. How many miles does it take you to get to school? Or you could use feet. How many feet long is the um, living room? Or you could use yards or meters. But what we're gonna focus on today is this word inch. Can you say that? Inch. An inch is a way to measure how long something is. Now where you can find an inch is by using a tool called a ruler. And a ruler might look like something like this. Maybe you might have one lying around your house um, and you can ask mom and dad to measure different things after we read our book. So if I were to look at this ruler, I could see at the very top, let me turn my light down a bit to see if it helps. At the very top, there's little dark marks to show you the distance or the length of something. Remember, because an inch is a way of, uh, for us to measure how long something is. And an inch is only about this big. So for Miss Jennikin, an inch is about two fingers for me. Maybe an inch for you is your thumb, or a thumb and a finger, or maybe it's three fingers. But the way that you should measure it, mathematicians measure, is by using this tool called a ruler. But the character in our book today is not a person who can carry around a ruler. Does anyone think they know what the animal that we're gonna be talking about, or should I say insect? or bug that we'll be talking about in this book? If you said inchworm, then you're right. So without further ado, this book is Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. Here we go. Here we go. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. Do you see the little inchworm sitting on the, the twig? And the robin? A robin is a kind of bird. That's right. Don't eat me. I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Can you count that with me? One, two, three, four, five inches, kind of like this. So if we were to use a ruler instead of an inchworm, we would see one, two, three, four, five inches. Awesome, let's keep going. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. Right. What bird is this that he's about to measure? Does anyone know? This is called a flamingo. 
And the book says, the inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. Wow, that looks much longer than the tail of the robin, which was five inches. How long do you think the length of a flamingo neck might be? It's a good thing to think about. Hmm, I don't know. He measured the toucan's beak. So here's another kind of bird called a toucan. And do you see the little inchworm is measuring how long his beak is? Because an inch is a way to measure how long something is, right? He also measured the legs of a heron. Wow, I think that might actually be the longest of them all, huh? Herons have some long legs so they can stand in those marshes and get the fish, huh? Wow, I wonder how long and how many inches those legs are. He measured the tail of a pheasant. And the whole hummingbird. Thumbs up if you've seen a hummingbird before. I have a hummingbird feeder in my backyard and I love being able to see them flutter along and drink my nectar that I have out there. Look at that hummingbird. Does it look longer or shorter than the other birds he's measured? Definitely looks shorter, doesn't it? Yeah. One morning, a nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. Hmm. I wonder if you can make a prediction as to what the inchworm might do to measure this song. Hmm. I'll try, the inchworm said. Go ahead and sing. Here's the, the nightingale singing. The nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. He measured and measured, there he is. Do you see the nightingale anymore? Where do you think the inchworm is going? Away from him, huh? And inch by inch, there he is now. Until he inched out of sight. Can you spy the inchworm? He started over here. And then he moved his way over, inching out of sight. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book, Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. And my challenge is to you um, to try to find a way to measure different things in your house. Um, if you have a ruler at your house, that's the best. But there's also ways of printing a ruler and maybe you can go around your house and see how long things are. And maybe you can compare what things in your house are longer and what things in your house are shorter using the term inch. Okay, you think you can do it? You excited? Awesome. Have a great day.